Paul Gascoigne, also known as Gaza, was a once in a generation talent who captivated audiences with his mesmerizing dribbling skills, ingenious vision and an ability to score unforgettable goals. He was a fan favourite who rose to fame quickly, becoming one of the most sought after players in the world and a key player for some of the biggest clubs, including Newcastle United, Tottenham Hotspur and Lazio. But despite his success on the pitch, Gaza was grappling with a dark and personal struggle, alcoholism. His battle with addiction led to a string of shocking incidents that rocked the football world, from arrests to hospitalizations and painted a picture of a man who was struggling to hold on to his life. In this video, we'll unravel the truth behind the shocking fall of Paul Gascoigne, explore the reasons for his decline and delve into the personal struggles that plagued him. We'll examine the impact these issues had on his once promising career and uncover the legacy he left behind as one of the greatest footballers of all time. Get ready to be taken on an emotional journey as we uncover the shocking fall of Paul Gascoigne. Paul John Gascoigne was born in Gateshead, England and from a young age, it was clear that Gascoigne had a natural talent for football. Despite growing up in a working class family, he spent every moment he could on the pitch, owning his skills and perfecting his game. His passion and skill caught the attention of scouts from bigger teams, and he was soon on his way to a career in professional football. He was noticed by these scouts while playing for Gateshead Boys, though failed to impress in a trial at Ipswich Town. Further trials at both Middlesbrough and Southampton also proved unsuccessful before the team he supported, Newcastle United, signed him into the youth academy at age 13. Due to the fact their coaches were in awe of young Paul's incredible skill and passion for the sport. He was constantly overweight whilst at the Newcastle academy. Jack Charlton, brother of ex-England star Bobby Charlton, was in charge of Newcastle. He quoted Gascoigne was a bit chubby and looked anything but a footballer. Paul's diet consisted of Mars bars and other junk food. Despite the excess weight, Charlton was not overly concerned as he believed this weight would give Gascoigne extra strength on the football pitch. And it did not seem to slow him down either. He also noted that Gascoigne showed early signs of being an antisocial prankster. Later, Charlton and Paul agreed that he needed to go on a healthy diet to lose weight. He gave him two weeks, to which Paul then trained for 10 days wrapped in a bin bag so he could sweat more to burn more calories. Under Jack Charlton, Paul swiftly made his way up the junior ranks and then made his Newcastle United senior debut in 1985 at just 17 years old. From that moment, he established himself as one of the most exciting young talents in the game and his unique skills, eye for goal and lovable personality made him a fan favourite among the Toon fans. In 1998, Gascoigne made a big money move to Tottenham Hotspur and continued to shine, helping the team win the FA Cup in 1991 and becoming a key player for England at the 1990 World Cup in Italy. He became a national hero and his tears during the semi-final match against West Germany became one of the most iconic moments in English football history. Gascoigne's career continued to soar. The English Diego Maradona completed a big money move to the Italian club Lazio in 1992 where he remained one of the most sought after players in the world. Despite his on-field brilliance, Paul Gascoigne was hiding a dark secret, a growing addiction to alcohol. As his abuse escalated, it led to a series of shocking incidents that sent shockwaves through the football world and shattered his once golden reputation. Gascoigne's problems began to take over, leading to several arrests and hospitalizations that made headlines around the world. In one particularly shocking incident, Gascoigne was arrested for assaulting a journalist while intoxicated. This, along with other high-profile incidents, led to his departure from the Italian club Lazio in 1996. Despite several attempts to overcome his addiction through rehab, 
Gascoigne continued to struggle and his health suffered as a result. He was admitted to the hospital on several occasions, including for alcohol-related seizures. Gascoigne's once promising career was rapidly spiraling out of control. He struggled to find a new club. Despite brief stints with several teams, his addiction and health problems continued to take their toll. Gascoigne's early life was plagued by tragedy and loss as the shadow of alcoholism loomed over his family. Growing up, he was a witness to the destructive power of alcohol and the toll it took on his father. The pain and trauma he experienced as a result of his father's addiction would later have a profound impact on his own life. Gascoigne saw the devastating consequences of addiction. Despite this, he of course found himself drawn to alcohol and used it to hide from the pressures of fame and success. This was of course a slippery slope. The same demons that haunted his father were now haunting him and he was powerless to stop them. Gascoigne's alcohol addiction completely controlled him and Paul began to abuse substances in the late 90s, which became even more devastating than his battle against alcohol. Paul's weak body endured numerous constant injuries that limited his ability to perform on the pitch, causing tension with coaches and teammates who were worried about his health and well-being. The effects of substance abuse were not limited to his physical health, Gaza's mental health was also severely impacted. He battled depression and anxiety, and his substance use only made these struggles even worse. The intense pressure and the expectations of fans made his journey even more difficult and his personal life even more difficult. With multiple marriages and relationships ending, he was constantly making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Despite several attempts at rehabilitation, Gascoigne's struggle with addiction persisted. He was frequently seen in public, aggressive and antisocial, and his once shining reputation had been taken away from him. But Gascoigne's decline is not just a sad story of wasted talent and personal struggle. It serves as a cautionary tale of the destructive power of addiction and the toll it can take on even the most gifted and celebrated individuals. Despite the battle, Gascoigne remains a beloved figure in the world of football. His impact on the sport will never be forgotten, but his fall serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support in overcoming addiction before it's too late. Gascoigne's impact on the world of football is undeniable. He is one of the most beloved and revered players in the history of the sport. His skill, creativity and larger than life personality has made him a legend and his legacy will endure for generations to come. Gascoigne's spectacular goals and moments of brilliance on the pitch are still discussed and remembered by fans decades later. His flashy style of play and electrifying energy captivated audience around the world and set him apart as one of the most entertaining players of his time. But it's not just his footballing achievements that make Gascoigne so beloved. He was just a regular man who rose to the top of his profession and his battles with alcohol and substance addiction resonate with people from all walks of life. Gascoigne's legacy is more than just his impressive footballing resume. It's a reminder of what can be achieved through talent, hard work and determination. A testament to the impact one person can have on the sport and the people who love it. Gascoigne's legacy will always remain intact and he will always be remembered as one of the most gifted and entertaining players in the history of football. His impact, like I said, will never be forgotten. Paul Gascoigne was a true prodigy, a funny personality and an overall gifted footballer. His legacy is one of both triumph and tragedy. As we reflect on the life and career of Paul Gascoigne, we are left with a sense of awe at what he was able to achieve despite his struggles. In recent years, Gaza has made several attempts to turn his life around and overcome his addictions, but his struggles have sadly continued. Also, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone for your support on my last video. If you haven't watched it yet, then please check it out. Please like, subscribe, and thank you all so much for watching.